video today, and I want to draw something. I want to draw something to you, uh, draw your attention to something that is really weird, and it's kind of a trend that I think is kind of um, funny to say the very least, but also kind of a dumb trend as well. Um, and it is the it is how much is the letter E worth on your uh, old Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Because apparently this is going to give people the false pretenses of that their cards are worth gold. When in actuality, they're not. They're just bulk commons and that no one should really care about them uh, because of that um, reason. So, for those of you who don't know, um, the E set, the E mark on a card is the, uh, I think it's like a first, like, kind of like a first edition, I guess. I'm not actually really sure on the history of the E, but it is a, a thing that you should, that you as a collector or you as a buyer should be aware of um, when you're buying old sets of cards. So, like, if you're trying to buy a, uh, a uh, Dark Magician or a Blue Eyes White Dragon for the meta or something like that, you might want to look at the card uh, itself and see where the E, if it has the E setting or not, because it might actually change the card's price just a little bit. But for some cases, it's turned to an extreme uh, to, to an extreme uh, case where uh, you see cards like this one. This is Ghost, uh, the ghost, the Gross Ghost of Flood Dreams. Now, for those of you who don't know what this card is, it's not a good card. It's a normal monster with 1,300 attack, and it is currently sitting at $125.60 for the, um, for just a, for, for just a common with an E scribbled onto the side. Um, it's weird, because you can also see the same, same thing happen with, like, Flame Dancer. It's also, see, it's also a dollar, $125, um, a summoner uh, of illusions. This one actually might actually see relevance as actually one of the cards on. It's 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 one of the cards on here that will see some sort of relevance. And uh, flying uh, flying fish. Um, I'll show you what that is. It's also going for a hundred twenty five dollar card. Is it, it, these cards are not good. Um, these cards are never going to see play. Um, so if you have them, um, kudos. You might actually have a you might have a might actually have a thirty to forty dollar card on your hands because of people's. I guess I don't know uh, weirdness for this card uh, for for these cards for cards that are that have E attached to them for some reason so it's just a random state of affairs that is just not something that we should be looking forward to or catering um, I think that this kind of part these rare cards are I mean if 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 it's if it's a good card then sure make sure that it's decent. Uh, or make sure that it's worth something. Make sure it's um, worth something like I don't know uh, a first. Uh, uh, I don't know like a blue eyes white dragon with this with with the e lettering on uh, for for uh, lob. Sure, make that card worth something, but don't make a card that's not seeing any play worth nothing or worth something. So, but anyway, guys, I want to know what you guys think about this card. So, how much is your card with the letter e worth? So, this has been Team Minimum signing off.